Christine. Merry Christmas. <laughs> Merry Christmas. Well, you know. Happy summer. Happy nope. July. Nobody's on yet. This so. is Wednesday night. I'm like talk. The hour of power now prayer. We're on. It's on even when it has that little circle. That Technology. circle was thing, and they Technology. missed it. Did you miss I said the word Christmas? <laughs> oh, Ricky. Uh, text on there Say that happy, you, you happy, heard me happy. sing or uh, heard <laughs> Christmas by the pastor. Uh, we did not hear Christmas. Yeah, we you did. Happy, happy. We're halfway through. <laughs> Who is that one person's already showed up? Text it Say, in. Hi, there. I'm watching from. Good evening. How are you? Michelle Woods. Yay, Michelle. I hope you're out of the hospital and recovering. We've been praying for you. I've been praying for you. I'm wow. happy to see you. She is a brave heart girl, that is for sure. Awesome. What do you mean you didn't hear? <laughs> Turn up your you hearing hear aid. Christmas. I told him we're not on until see, the little circle I told goes. you I was singing about <laughs> Christmas and nobody was paying attention. <laughs> oh, goodness. Okay. Hi, Bettina. Yay. See, you didn't hear about Christmas. Hear it's me. beginning to look a lot <laughs> no, like Christmas. It's summer. I don't want Christmas yet. Well, you it's know, it's people, they got to get on there and they got to hear. <laughs> oh, that's so funny. It's Copenhagen, not, yay. It's Why? not every day you hear about Christmas. <laughs> well, it's every day we hear about Christ. More Christ. <laughs> Isn't God good? Oh, you God got so good. Yeah, I got a great wife. <laughs> Well, that's good. How about that? <laughs> Wayne, why don't you sing a little song or something? If you're on there, sing. He was singing. Ah, uh, well, let's, um, let me ask you a question. We're going to have Wednesday, Hour of Power Prayer. I got that. Okay. So what is one thing that you thank God that he answered in a prayer that you've given to him lately? Well, I think uh, what you're going to pray, help me pray later in the ser service for my mom, but um, she was diagnosed with pancreatic cancer and has had her first uh, chemo treatment and um, has remarkably done well Amen. Um, from the treatment. And uh, uh, just so, you know, when you never know. And uh, so I was very glad. Yes. That, that, that's so, a big prayer. When we are coming together for prayer, so many people write me and let me know what we're praying for, what they have need of. But then they also write me later to say, Pastor Jen, that prayer we prayed, God answered it. So we're going to share some of those praise reports, some of the new prayer requests. If you have something anytime and you want us to put it in there, um, Bettina, how's it going in Copenhagen? Are you on lockdown there? Are you free to move around? Uh, I know you can't maybe come to Rome just yet uh, because of quarantine, but I'm really not sure about that. So uh, tell us how you're doing in Copenhagen. In Italy, we're doing pretty good. Uh, we still have a lot of requirements and restrictions face masks yes and social distancing which isn't it, isn't it cool that in uh, uh uh live uh prayer and services we don't have to use face masks yeah that's one blessing that's a good that's thing. a blessing so but one of the things i want to thank the lord for is sunday we were like almost maxed out with we were maxed. all of the people that were coming and but we had ministry going on either in the church, online, on Saturday, on Sunday, on Wednesday, on Thursday, on, on uh, Sunday afternoon, every age group. Uh, the Christian education classes were filled up and a lot of people were learning how to connect and lead, how to connect and grow. Um, the pre-service prayer, people are praying powerful prayers. And so the one thing I want to start off today is that I was able to lead a precious man, and I'm not going to say too much about it because he was worried about his family from a different background in another country, but I led him to Jesus on the online uh, service time. He downloaded a Bible for the very first time and then talked to me about, you know, what what's the Old Testament and what's the New Testament, and um, it was just really exciting to introduce somebody to God's word in that way. So, um, yes, we're just checking out some things here of what people are saying. So I want to praise God for those new people who are coming to know the Lord. 
Amen. We, they're coming to know Jesus. They're writing us. They're asking. I also want to praise God for, um, what did Bettina say? No. Nope. She's coming in September. Woo and you're bringing your niece. Yay. Oh, yay. And your niece, hi. We miss you already. Can't wait for you to get back. Um, Bring me some escargot from And Paris. good. They've already got tickets. Bettina, that's exciting. So Europe is traveling. We're happy to hear that. Hi, Esther. Hi, Boriana. Um, so things are opening up and uh, and people are finding Jesus and people are finding how to walk with Jesus on a regular basis. So if you join us on Sunday or Wednesday or Thursday Connect, I encourage you to go to the website, icfrome.org, go to the events page and you can register for a, a grow class just to grow in your walk with Jesus a lead class like how to develop leadership skills and they have a lot of funny videos and things they're doing in there and prayer it, i mean some fabulous teachers are teaching these times together and then also tomorrow night the men are going to be gathering online for their yeah, first, uh, first zoom time on men's a zoom. gathering they're not going to go fishing in by the sea but they're going to fish with each other for encouragement so Lots of ways to stay connected, and I really encourage you to do that. And I just want to thank God um, for what, what he's doing in people's hearts and lives. And one good thing we found out today is we found five more spots uh, for Sunday's uh, attenders. So last week when we were maxed out, uh, we did some remeasuring today, and we were able to find a room in the main auditorium for five more. And if we max out again, then this coming week, we're gonna figure out how to uh, live stream to our one of our classrooms. Mm -hmm. And uh, so we've got some options. And, and uh, just like normal, what the Lord always does, it seems like every year in the summer, sometimes people go away for a holiday or a break from their work and then they come back. And it, I just say the Lord kind of juggles people because even right now, while we, we can have less people sitting in the sanctuary, we're doing okay because we, you know, some of our university students have gone back to their home country and some of the families are in their various countries right now. So we've got room, but you have to register. You have to get that seat. And last Sunday we did on Saturday night at uh, probably about nine o'clock, we did close the seating for Sunday. So you'll have to watch online to make sure um, it stays open. But if you have not registered, I want you to register right away as soon as this is over or even now go to the website i don't register. skip prayer go no. wait till after it's over and then register but when we join together on wednesday night one thing i always do is you coming in from a day of work a day of being online so i'm going to ask you to do something maybe you can listen to my voice i want you i always ask you to breathe but i want you to close your eyes for a minute you can do it me too close your eyes oh lord close your eyes and I want you just to rest your eyes for a few seconds because maybe you've been looking at that computer all day. And I want you to hear the Holy Spirit saying, I have an answer for you. It's in motion. I want you to hear the Holy Spirit calling you by name and saying tonight as you come together, the prayers of the righteous will be very effective. We are seeing God do miracles. So tonight, Lord, we give you this prayer time. We thank you for the ways you've answered prayer. I thank you for those who work today and are joining in now. I thank you for this privilege of even doing prayer online for right now without our mask. We're thankful for the safety of a mask when we come together. But Lord, right now, we are totally unmasked as far as our hearts. We've taken everything off and opening up to you and trusting you for the answer. And for anyone who may feel weary or unsure about the answer, I just believe that the Lord is saying the answer is in motion. The answer is in motion and you are going to find victory this week in Jesus name. Amen. Amen. While I met with some of our leaders today um, to discuss some things, we always go out when we're done and uh, have cappuccino. You know, it's Italy. And one of our attenders stopped us as we were walking and wanted to know about how we are meeting the guidelines that have been set out here in Italy. They were very concerned about the disinfecting subject. And I was, through a translator that was with us, able to communicate clearly 
that the building is in perfect uh, condition as far as the guidelines from Italy are concerned. Matter of fact, we went over and above um, the guidelines that were asked of us as a church. So we want you to know that if you want to come to our Rome campus, it's safe, it's clean, uh, the attendants are doing their jobs, and uh, I want you to know you will enjoy our time of prayer at the end of our services. We can't come together at the end like we always do and come to the front, but we can stay in our seats and we can pray. And I'm telling you, it's like heaven. And so, um, and hearing your brothers and sisters pray together, just, you know, you just feel encouraged and empowered. And we have sanitation stations everywhere. Yeah. We have people who are sanitizing in the process after people move around or whatever's happening with that. So you have no worries is what I'm trying to tell you. And uh, I said that because here is someone that lives extremely close to our church. A matter of fact, a few doors away and really didn't know. So as much advertisement as we've been doing. Um, we have it posted We outside. have it posted, I mean, online, all the stuff we do to get the word out. And we had somebody that lived a few doors away and didn't know the information. So hopefully that little few minutes of giving you a clarification again that uh, the building is sanitized. It is great. Every week. And um, yeah, it's done on a, on the regular, just like was Immediately asked. Immediately after, yeah. So there is no issue. And um, so please avail yourself to that because if you're in Rome, um, it, it gives you a great opportunity. Now I know the registration thing is a big deal and you got to do it. I'd sure hate to turn you away once you got into the uh, into the campus there and you, we've created a new link for registration though so it's easier a also. lot easier you don't have to fill out a whole bunch of information just type your name and how many people are coming with you it's a little drop down and you choose one two three uh, yeah, however many people are coming so with you. when this is over matter of fact it'd be great because our new system is now in place and because uh, i just felt it was too complicated to register as i told the team this week hey let's get this cleaned up let's make it simple so that i can do it and if i can do it i know everybody else can do and it and there so. is a new link so if you're trying to use an old link it might not work so you have to refresh your uh history bar there if you're trying to do that but it should be fine so. well we love you and and this is going to be a great night of prayer we've taken a few minutes to tell you about some things to just kind of get you on board but Tonight, as we go to prayer, let me, let me read this scripture. 1 John 5, 14 says, This is the confidence we have in approaching God, that if we ask anything, now the key word there is ask anything, according to his will, he hears us. You know, if there's ever a time we want God to hear us, it's now. So no matter what you're going through, what you're dealing with, God is ready to listen. But in order for God to listen, you got to talk. And so tonight, we're going to start our time of prayer in praising God. You know we do that every week. And we're going to take a few moments before we begin to pray for our world. And we're going to just thank the Lord for his goodness to us his mercy to us, how he's provided for us. So let's just stop right now and start this great night of prayer by praising the Lord. Would you do it right where you're at? Hallelujah, Lord, Lord, we, we just you. love we you. Love you Jesus. We thank you, Jesus, thank you, for all the great Hallelujah, things you Jesus. do, for your Worthy mercy you, and, your, and your forgiveness yes, and Jesus. your grace. God, we thank you for your provision. Hallelujah. We thank you for listening to us. You, we thank you in anticipation of the answers. Praise I already you. know some of the things that will be testified tonight yes, of Jesus. the miracles thank of you, prayer God. that have thank been you, answered for some people yes. that, that God, some of our friends are going to hear for the very first time yes. tonight. But God, we are grateful. Amen. We are grateful Hallelujah. that you hear us. We're grateful that you respond to us. And God, we are so, so, so thankful tonight you, that you love us so much you. and you love to spend time mm -hmm. with us. And so, Lord, as we come to this moment of prayer to, to petition you, Lord, and ask for some things, yes. Lord, we ask because we have a confidence, just like your word says, a confidence 
that you're going to listen to us. Because God, we're not going to ask anything so far out there that it's not according to your will. We're going to ask for miracles tonight. We're going to ask for jobs tonight. We're going to ask for provision tonight. We're going to ask for the way you're directing us, God. We're going to ask the things that will be in accordance with your will. So tonight, hear our prayers, oh God. Hear all our prayers, and we're going to thank you in advance for listening to our prayers. In Jesus' name. Amen. 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 You want to give a, yes. just some, two. Some, oh, I can't do yeah, just you've two. You've got to do two because we've got <laughs> to get to prayer. Okay. Two testimonies. Okay. And this so. is going to be scattered throughout tonight because there's been so many. And maybe you've had an answer to prayer. Send us a note. Write it in the chat even. If, the, if we prayed for something last week and God has touched you, I know um, the Lord really touched Boriana's son, McKaylee, so we praise God for that. Amen. Um, but one, Pastor Rick, I think he even kind of paused in the service last week and said the Lord had impressed on him that some were not able to sleep, that they were feeling very restless at night and they were anxious and right, not sleeping. Right, right. And one of our young ladies, uh, young adults, wrote me later and said, Pastor Jen, that was me. And she said, I have slept for the past two nights in spite of some things that are going on. She said, I'm not afraid. I have peace. I slept like a baby. So we praise God that when we put it in God's hands, Amen. he touches our mind, our body, and causes it to rest and go to sleep. So I know she's thankful for a good night's sleep, and I'm thankful for the answered prayer. Also, we were praying for a couple different people that were in the hospital that are now home recovering and they are no longer in the hospital. So we praise God for that. God is so amazing with that. And then we also praise God for uh, the children and the teens ministry that went on oh, this yeah. weekend. Oh yeah, you don't want to miss this one. Um, it was just, I think we had about 20 kids on Saturday and about nine in a Zoom teenagers. Class on Sunday afternoon and and even as soon as that Sunday afternoon was over on Monday I think it was somebody wrote me and said can I add my friend to the teen class so um, we just praise God for what he's doing and the children and the teens are either learning to invite a friend to come alongside with them or uh, drawing a picture or sharing to, with their parents I need to pray I need to memorize my memory verse um, so I'm thankful that we prayed for ministry last week. We prayed for Sunday ministry, and that included Saturday. And God really did it. The classes, like I said, were full and growing, and more people have registered for those classes this week. So I just praise God for what he's doing in giving those answers to prayer. Okay. One more. No, one no, more. no, 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 no. No. <laughs> okay. Save them for later. Okay. We got to get to prayer for our world. Yes. You know, our world is, is man, it is in such turmoil right now. And, uh, you know, as your pastor, I've been saying for a few years now, we have to pray for peace. Now, I, today I was thinking, here's a list. And I started my list in my office and I said, man, this list is so long of nation after nation after nation where there's trouble, something's going on. And I stopped myself and I said, look, we're not going to do that tonight. We're just going to simply pray for peace for our world. Mm -hmm. So, what we do, if you, you've been with us before, you we're going to pray for the world in general. Then you specifically call out your country. You know, there's 78, 80 nations that attend our church. That's not counting over the 100 nations that watch us online. So there's a <laughs> lot of nations affected. So we're going to reach a lot of nations tonight. So let's just spend the next number of minutes. Peace praying for peace yes. for our world Hallelujah. okay Lord, let's do it would you do it with me jesus. lord god, jesus we I call on you your name peace. right now and god you, we lord pray god, for peace, peace in every yes, every lord, country god you, every jesus. situation every war-torn country every country that's name. dealing with pestilence Hallelujah. god i've got countries Hallelujah. that are being in turmoil oh, because yes, of bugs god will you help them jesus god the COVID 19 issues God, there's countries that are just now being affected. 
and God, they're, yes. they're, they don't know what to do. You, and they're, they're closing the doors and they're thank closing you, this and they're, you, they're trying to abide by rules and they don't even know what to thank do you, yet, Lord. God, Jesus. help them bring peace in those situations. Yes, Jesus, Lord, Lord, I pray Lord, for the Lord, turmoil Jesus. that is happening in some countries, yes, oh Lord, God. because they're, they're waging Jesus. war against each other. Will you help them tonight, God? Bring peace in those situations. And Father, we pray according to your word in John 16, 33. Yes, you Lord. said I've told you these things so that in me, in Jesus, we will have peace because in this world we do have trouble. trouble. But Jesus said, take heart for I have overcome, overcome. the world. So God, we declare the yes. peace that overcomes yes. the peace, turmoil peace, in wonderful the world. Peace. God, we thank you that in Coming Second Thessalonians the you said above. the Lord of peace himself Hallelujah. will give you peace at Hallelujah. all times God, and in every way peace. and in give every Peace. circumstance give you said peace. in isaiah you would keep us in give perfect our peace, world peace whose give minds are stayed on thee peace. lord you said our you'd give us peace not like the peace. world our gives. world we don't have to live peace. in trouble and turmoil Hallelujah. Hallelujah. so god we declare the peace from heaven that yes, supernatural lord. Yes, peace lord. to descend yes, lord. like a glory cloud over Hallelujah. countries Hallelujah. over nations Hallelujah. over meeting rooms over universities Hallelujah. over families over villages Lord god that the peace of god would bring peace in turmoil in hallelujah, our world. We thank you for that, Lord God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Blessed be your name. Father, I pray for an outpouring of the Holy, the Holy Spirit. Spirit. God, there are Christians in so many places, some that are even hallelujah. being Christians hallelujah. underground. Hallelujah. They haven't been able hallelujah. to be public. But God, they're there. They bring hallelujah. you with hallelujah. them when they go to hallelujah. work. They bring you with them when they go to the grocery hallelujah. store. They bring hallelujah. you with them when hallelujah. they go to market. So Lord, I hallelujah. pray right now that those faith Christ followers in the various parts Hallelujah. of the world Hallelujah. where there is turmoil, that they would recognize they are the bearers of Hallelujah. Jesus' peace. Hallelujah. They are the bearers of the Holy Spirit peace. And Lord, that something will happen like happened when Hallelujah. people were touched by the shadow of a man walking by. Yes. The peace of God Hallelujah. that surrounds God's people would fill cities and yes, villages Lord. and yes, offices Lord. Tonight, and corridors of government, prayers, Lord God. We thank prayers, you, Jesus, Jesus, when we hear government Hallelujah. leaders say, Hallelujah. we can't do this without God's help. Hallelujah. We need Hallelujah. people to pray Hallelujah. for us, God. We thank you Hallelujah. that people recognize Hallelujah. they need Jesus. Yes, they need Lord. God. Yes, they Lord. need the power. Yes. Yes, peace to bring peace and resolution in these Hear situations Lord God. Hallelujah. Oh, Hallelujah. God, pray, Hallelujah. I, I pray God that you would help your people not be determined by the turmoil and the chaos around them yes. wherever they are yes but that they would stay steadfast just like these scriptures say yes. on peace Lord God that you would be with them and you would heal yes. them and you would restore their land Hallelujah. as we call on you Hallelujah. you will restore Hallelujah. the land Hallelujah. We thank you for that Jesus Hallelujah. Now, let me tell you of a testimony that happened on the world. There's a country called Malawi. We're very connected in our church because we've got some people from our church that are from that country. But they recently elected a new president. And the new president happens to be an Assembly of God pastor. A leader. Now he's the president of the entire nation. Spirit filled. So there was a whole lot of people praying that God would give them a good president. Mm. And God honored their prayers. See, yes. your prayers, the prayers of a righteous man avails much. So don't think, hey, my prayers don't count. Mm -hmm. Here's a nation that was praying and they took a pastor, an assembly of God, Pentecostal, spirit filled pastor, and, and raised him up to be the president of their country. See, God answers your prayers. Amen. And so I hope tonight in that section of the world, as you were praying for your country, you were thinking, Lord, we need some help in our country. And I, I pray that you, you said it in the anticipation that God was not only hearing your prayers, but he was about to respond to your prayers. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. And in Colossians chapter 3, verse 16, it says, let the peace of Christ rule in your hearts since as members of one body you were called to peace and be thankful when that's a commandment that's a that's a statement that the lord is making to us let the peace of jesus christ rule in your heart so your heart is not anxious 
Your heart is not weary. Your right. heart is not in turmoil. Right, right. I mean, I saw someone said, um, this is like the Corona coaster, like a roller coaster, because some days it seems like we're better. And some days it seems like there's more turmoil and much more struggle with all of the highs and lows and whether there's going to be another outbreak or not. This scripture in Colossians 3.15 says, let, allow, you know, allow the peace of Christ to rule, to yeah. rule and reign in right, your heart, right, right. not to be secondary, but to be in charge of right. the feelings that are in my heart. And Amen. if that's true, then when I'm tempted to feel anxious or uncertain, I immediately must say, Jesus, I allow you to reign over that. And there will be peace in my heart and my life. Amen. Amen. Our next uh, <clears throat> section that we always pray for um, is our city. And, um, you know, Rome is a major city of our world. And there's just so many nations that uh, are part of our city. And we pray for our city because it's the home base of, of International Christian Fellowship. And because it's our home base, as strong as we can make the church, the local church, and that's our last segment that we always pray for is the local church. But our city, Rome, needs a spiritual awakening. Mm. Do you hear what I just said? A spiritual awakening. We don't need more religion. We don't need more rules about religion. We need a spiritual awakening where man turns to God. And, and so I'm going to pray for a few things. I'm going to pray, first of all, that God uses you. Those of you that are in Rome, you need to be God's ambassadors yeah. to share the good news. Mm -hmm. Those people are your colleagues are on those calls with you. They need help and answers. And they're waiting on you to give it to them. So don't have to let them ask. Go ahead and give it to them. And so we're going to pray for that. Pray for our city that God brings a spiritual renewal. Mm -hmm. Good? Yeah, good. And then we'll pray for specifics. Yeah, yeah, we'll do that next. Lord, right now we Thank call you, on Thank your you, name God. for Rome. Hallelujah. Rome needs a revival. Just think, God, if we had a Awaken major outpouring of an awakening Awaken us, in our city, it would affect the entire world. Mm. The entire world would hear about a revival, mm. awakening a spiritual renewal, whatever words we want to call it, where man and woman is coming to you, O oh God, seeking your face, desiring for your help, O oh God. Yes. Not man's help, but your help, O oh God. I pray for a spiritual awakening to come to Rome and that you would pour out your spirit in our city, O oh God, so that we can see this with our own eyes. And the members that are a part of living in this city, no matter how long or short their assignment is, O oh God, I pray, O oh God, that you will use us as your ambassadors to, to help stir this movement towards you, O oh God. God, if there can be uprisings of other kind of movements in our world, there can be a spiritual uprising, uprising in our city. City, oh God, we don't have to do this movement or that movement. We can do a you movement, God, where you are glorified and you are uplifted. And God, that you would be able to respond back to us, your people and say, I'm ready to move. I'm ready to pour out my spirit. I'm ready to save those that are lost. I'm ready to heal the brokenhearted. I'm ready to heal the sick in body. I'm ready and God, you said, if my people would call your name. So tonight, we, your people, are calling your name tonight. We're calling your name, Jehovah. Jehovah, Jehovah. We're calling your name tonight, oh God. Would you pour out your spirit in our city? Would you come and reach us, oh God? Reach our friends. Reach our neighbors. Reach our colleagues. Reach our classmates. Reach our families, oh God. God, we thank Thank you for what you will do in our city, oh God, which means you'll do it in other cities. If you'll do it here, you'll do it in the other cities of the world. And God, our cities are desperate for you, God. They are desperate for you. They have tried it man's ways. Now we need to go with your ways, oh God. And I pray, God, you will help us. You will help us, your people. We, You will help us, God, I pray. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. 
name. Hallelujah. Now let's pray for some of the needs yes. that have already yes. been written Hallelujah. in. I want us to pray for um, a, a pastor's wife named Darla. She has recently had surgery on her vocal cords. And so she's not able to speak out loud right now as her, her vocal cords are healing. They've stripped away some of that. So we're going to pray right now. Will you pray for Pastor Darla that God would restore her vocal cords Hallelujah. so that she can minister to the people that God has put into her yes, path. Lord. But in this time of being silent vocally, that her witness will be very loud yes her trust in the lord oh god, will be very oh loud so god I we pray, pray right for pastor for darla god. heal those vocal cords Healer, restore them you can name. even rebuild new vocal cords Hallelujah. lord god where she god, can speak can and sing that, again you and will. declare your word but yes, god let lord. her witness yes, and her lord. testimony yes, be louder than ever because yes, she's trusting lord. in you yes, lord. we thank yes, you for it lord god yes, we thank you jesus for that lord lord we ask you also right now for a dear friend lisa whose husband was in a terrible motorcycle accident accident and so god we're praying right now for lisa's husband yes, god. he's in icu he's having some kidney uh dialysis even i think as to, as of today so god right now i pray for lisa's husband yes. there in louisiana yeah. god that uh, you would heal him that you would restore him you would help his body to rejuvenate yes, yes, all the yes, injuries yes, would begin yes. to heal his heart would pump his lungs would pump his kidneys would pump and God, that you would give Lisa peace. Yes, God. She loves her husband and she can't be with him right now. So Lord, we pray for Lisa, that she will have the joy yes, of the Lord will be her strength, God, even in the midst of turmoil. Her, God, in the midst and of God, she'll problem. have peace that you're in control. We thank you for touching Hallelujah. Lisa. Bring others around yes, her in Lord that God, city, we thank God, you. Give, to be an I pray for nurses and doctors even that know Jesus, that can pray with her husband in her absence and remind him that God is in control and he's not alone and she's not alone. Lord, we also pray for Bethany. Many of you know Church Alive from North Carolina support us. They helped us with our Bella Vita sewing lab. Bethany's been here many times for our women's retreat and worked with our children. Bethany is fighting something called Lyme disease. And right now tonight, she's fighting for her life in intensive care. Uh, infection and co-infections are just bubbling up. Will you just, we call Lyme disease defeated hallelujah, in Jesus' name. And God, hallelujah. we agree together right, God, right now for now, Bethany Walker in hospital, North Carolina room, that Lyme disease will not have the victory behalf, over Bethany's God. life. That her Jesus lungs will name. work, her heart God, will work, the fever her. will go down, God, the infection will be defeated in the name of Jesus. Life, you will God. bless her children, God, you will bless her husband, you will help them to know that God is in control. God, God is going to do a new Thank thing in Lord. Bethany. Thank her blood Lord. system needs to be rejuvenated, oh God. God. Oh she God. needs a new oh DNA God. in yes, her body. God. Her and God, Jesus. you can do that right Thank now. Lord Bethany, Jesus. we are calling on Jesus on your behalf. On your Lyme behalf. disease is defeated in Jesus' Hallelujah. name. Infection and fever is defeated in Jesus name Hallelujah. we thank you God for healing Bethany for restoring her to health for healing her bloodstream yes, we thank you for that yes, in the Lord. name of Jesus yes, Lord. God we pray for those who are still waiting on documents and there is many holds and pauses and difficulties for those who are trying to get documents yes, in our church yes, yes. in our young adult yes. group in Rome and around really in other countries as well some of our students were in other countries and they couldn't get back some are in other countries and they may have to stop university because documents and visas aren't being processed because they're not in school on campus. So God, right now, I'm praying for documents and yes. university visas and situations. God, help these young people that are trusting in you yes. not to be discouraged, to remember that these visas and these documents and these universities are not bound. Their life is not bound by that process. Right, right, right. Their life is bound and oh, held tight God, by Jesus. So. God, let them so. know the steps of the so. righteous are ordered may by the Lord. So, I thank you may for new so. jobs. May I thank you for so. new documents. Documents. I so. thank you for new pathways so. that are open. So. God, um, the office that said it was going to be closed will open next yes. week. Yes. We decree it and declare it so that some of these worries and these stressors can get off of yes. these young yes. people these and, and many. Lord God, we ask you to do yes, that Lord. in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Father, I'm asking you right now for Mary Davina, one of our India students, and all of our India students, Benji, Johan, Albert, many of you are joining us and we're praying for you. But Mary's parents and her family has been sick and Benji is weary. I know, Johan, they've been locked down. 
So right now, will you pray for our friends in India? God, we pray that you would God touch them. In Jesus God, name. that you would in heal Jesus Mary's name. parents. Mary's that they family, would have strength. God, that they would not have God. any we infection. The Keep brother, a hedge the mother, the of father. health around Mary. We thank you that you are giving Benji's courage. Parents, God. God, I pray for Benji that you God. will increase his heart them, as they stay in the God, word, as they draw close to your Holy Spirit, Lord God. That they would hear your voice. That they would draw closer to you than they've ever been before, Lord Jesus. Oh, God, God, put a hedge of health around each of them, Lord God. God. Let the Holy Spirit overflow in their lives, Lord God. And protection to flow in Jesus' name. And faith to flow in Jesus' name. Yes, Lord. Last week, we asked you to pray for our son-in-law who had an operation. And we're happy to say he's home, recovering. He's had kind of a, a difficult few days, but today he's doing better. and He's been outside to get some fresh air for a, a quick little walk. So will you continue to pray for Josh? He messaged me to say, the prayers are working and I am improving. And so I want us to keep praying for Josh, that the healing that needs to happen yes, in his body would continue to happen. Yes, Lord. The, this, the, just everything around the surgical yes, procedure. Yes, God, Lord. heal Josh. Yes, Lord. Keep his mind clear. God, keep him, keep him strong. Continue. Keep him free of Thank any you, infection. Lord. Let his body heal. Thank we you, thank Lord. you that you're doing it. We thank you that you're helping him. Hallelujah. We thank you that he is not alone in this journey, but you are surrounding him with a heavenly vanguard Hallelujah. of angels. Hallelujah. Lord, you surrounded that family and you've helped them and provided for them on many levels this year. And so we thank you that healing has been evident yes. in that household, that that cast is coming off of that broken arm of that little one and that God, you are touching their bodies and you are healing them. We thank you for that. I want to thank you, Lord, for touching Jessica. Many of you prayed for our daughter, Jessica, that was having a baby. We also have someone, Inala, is going to be having a baby anytime now, soon, in the next couple weeks. So I want us to pray for moms with babies or having babies because we've seen God even um, bring babies to birth and to life that we're told they couldn't have any children. So right now, God, we're praying for moms and babies whether the baby's in the womb, whether the baby's about to be born, or whether Hallelujah. the baby has Hallelujah. been born. God, Hallelujah. we pray for a hedge Hallelujah. of health around these babies. We pray for a hedge of health around these mothers. Hallelujah. We thank you Hallelujah. that we have witnessed the miracle of life in numerous families, Lord Jesus. Yes, Lord. And we have seen the baby. We have seen the, the mamas who have recovered after the yes, giving of yes. birth that was said to be difficult. God, you have healed and restored, yes, and you can Lord. do it again. Yes, so, Lord. Lord, we pray for Inala, that you would surround her with God, your protection. Her, As she goes Protect into that hospital, life. whenever it's time to God, have the baby, to have a healthy name. baby, yes. healthy heart rate, healthy lungs, God, that you'll keep Inala well as also, and her husband Shannon, that he'll be able to be God there, present Shannon. for the birth of the baby. God, we're asking you for some of these precious gifts that you do, and we thank you for that. Hallelujah. And Lord, I pray right now for your people. You put something in my heart today, and I just keep thinking about the fact that we must be steadfast. We must persevere. That's what we do in prayer. We persevere in prayer. We pray yes, yes. until it's finished. Yes. We are going to be talking on our Thursday Connect about establishing good Christ-following friendships and how we encourage one another. And that a good friend, a true friend, stays with you in prayer until the answer comes. The they keep end. coming. They keep texting. They keep saying, how are you doing today? And they give you another scripture and they give you another word of encouragement. And today I heard the Lord say to me, I'm not bound by time. We have a certain time period that we think. But you can imagine the, the children that wandered in the wilderness for 40 years. Not many of us have had to wander waiting on our answer to our prayer for 40 years. But God said to me, I'm not bound by time, but I'm bound by purpose. Yeah. I have a purpose for you in the waiting. I have a purpose for you in the middle. And this is the time when we can't let our energy in our faith for prayer to wane, to, to get low, to get defeated. This is when we can't do it in ourselves. We do it in the strength of the Holy Spirit. Yes. But right now, I want to pray for those because it is a, a Corona coaster. It is highs and lows of chaos. But as I said Sunday, you have a decision to make. This month is faith moves our decisions. 
You can decide to rest in pandemic with widespread effects and fear. You can decide to rest your mind on pandemonium right. and chaos and turmoil, or you can make the decision to rest your mind, as I said earlier from the scripture, in the peace of God, which passes our own human understanding. And so when God says, I'm not bound by time, you're waiting on that document. Don't worry about that. Your steps are ordered by the Lord, right. not the community. It's going to come. You're right waiting time. on that healing miracle. You don't worry. God's going to bring it. You're right. waiting on that answer to prayer in your marriage. God is going to bring the answer. He is right. not bound by our time. Hallelujah. But he is bound to have purpose fulfilled in your life. Yeah. So, Lord, right now, we agree, Pastor Rick and I, Hallelujah. that the purposes of God yes. would be yes. revealed in your children, yes, Lord. Lord. Yes, in all Lord. of us, yes, that Lord. in the waiting, we will make the decision yes, to Lord. have peace, yes, to Lord. let the peace of Christ rule in our hearts and our minds, and that we will not be fretful yes. in time. Yes. We will trust in you during time. We will trust in you. I want us just to take a minute. I want us just to be still for just a minute. I want you to hear the Holy Spirit whisper to you, I've got all of your days in my hands. Lord, would you just whisper your word? Whisper your word. Hallelujah, Jesus. Take a moment. Allow the Lord to speak to you. Praise you, Jesus. Praise you, Jesus. Peace. Peace. Wonderful peace. Coming down from the Father above. We will not worry about how long it takes. We trust you in the waiting. We will not lose our faith in the waiting. We will not lose our victory in the waiting. We will declare victory in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Maybe you might want to say in the chat, I am declaring victory for, and that's your word of faith. I am declaring victory for healing. I am declaring victory for allergies that I've had for really my whole life. And I grew up in the in the pine forest of Texas, sneezing, sneezing, sneezing. I'm declaring victory over allergies. What are you declaring victory for? Hallelujah. Because God has a purpose in the process. Amen. He has a purpose in the process. Amen. Now, our last section that we always pray for is we pray for our church services. Now, our online campus is obviously huge. I think there was 91,000 people that were a part of Sunday's message. That's an incredible number. And um, so there's a lot of people that watch. You were preaching. <laughs> Do you know 91,000 people were watching we're reached, on yes. just on that one platform? Mm -hmm. Not all the other platforms. Mm -hmm. So God's doing some big things in that subject. So we're going to pray for our online campuses. I mean, they're all over the world, literally. Mm -hmm. But we're also going to pray for Rome, our ICF Rome campus. I'll be preaching week number two of Faith Moves Our Decisions. And I've got a word for us this, this week. I'm just telling you, whether you're online or you're in Rome, God is going to speak to you about direction. God has a perfect direction for your life. I'm just telling you. And who wouldn't want to know the perfect direction for your life? You have to make a decision. But you got to make a decision. <laughs> the decision which God will help you with. So we're going to pray for our youth class. We're going to pray for our teenage, uh, teenage class, our young adult classes, our kid classes. We're going to pray for education classes. And we're going to pray for the Sunday services mm -hmm. itself. Okay. So we're going to spend the next number of minutes just praying for Sunday thank services. You, Lord. Would you do Thank it? you, Lord. Lord, I thank you for Hallelujah. Sunday service. Hallelujah. I thank you that we have the privilege Hallelujah. and the freedom the to gather together, the world, Lord Jesus, Jesus, with so many. God, we thank you for the ones who have given their heart God, to Jesus this past God, weekend. Lord. We thank you, Lord thank God, you, Lord. for the thank benefit you, of seeing you, that happen. Thank you, Lord. Lord, we thank you for the workers you, that are involved thank in you, Sunday thank service. You, Lord. Thank we thank you, Lord God, for how you bring us so many workers, for the children, for 
for the teenagers. We thank you for those who are joining us online from around the nations for the services, Lord God. I thank you for the hosting team. I thank you for the media team. I thank you for the the music and the worship team, God. I thank you for the leaders that come and pray, God. The pre-service prayer. I thank you for the security team. I thank you, God, for the atmosphere that is created in the sanctuary at ICF Rome. God, I thank you that as we walk in there, that even though we're limited by time, you're not bound by time. Once again, we hear that, Lord God. Yes, we have an hour service online, and we have an hour service in the campus at ICF Rome, but you're not bound by time. And God, in one spoken word, you can change a person's life for the next 50 years. In one spoken moment of praise and victory, you can give a person healing for the next 10 years. In one spoken utterance of the power of the Holy Spirit, you can equip a believer to walk in victory for eternity. And so, Lord, I thank you that you're not bound by yes, long time yes, or short time, yes, that your yes. power supersedes all of it. Yes. And we pray for your power hallelujah, to be felt, hallelujah. to be felt online, God, to be felt on campus, to be felt God, by each of us, that we would that be service, sensitive God. to the Holy Spirit, that hallelujah. you would anoint Pastor Rick and the ministry of the Word, God, that we would never lose sight of the power of the Word of God hallelujah. and what it does in our hearts and our lives. I pray for the power of the Holy Spirit yes, to yes, descend upon yes, us. I yes. pray for the fruits of the Holy Spirit to be made evident in your people. I pray for the praises of your people to lift up, whether oh, it's God. online. We thank you for the Bridge Church that leads us in worship online. Hallelujah. I thank God you for the them. testimonies of those worship team Hallelujah. members, Lord God. I pray for healing. God, they're not able to have worship at their church right now. And so, Lord, we thank you that they're doing a part with us Hallelujah. here in Italy. Hallelujah. We pray blessings for them in Jesus name. Hallelujah. 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 Hallelujah for Sunday, God. Hallelujah. Lord, I pray for the ministries that are happening this week. Hallelujah. I pray for tomorrow, for Thursday Connect, that each person, God, I know that we have world leaders who listen to our Thursday Connect Sunday. I was met with someone who said that they've been watching every Thursday. They just don't have the capacity to chat. So, Lord, I pray for Cecilia. I pray for those who watch on their lunch break. I pray for those who watch later that the word that goes forth in Thursday Connect would inspire, would encourage, would remind us to stay steadfast and persevere in godly friendships. God, that we will not lose sight, that we will hold that anchor of Jesus and that anchor of friendship with your people, Lord God so that we know we're not alone in this world. God, I pray for for Thursday night for the men's Men's, group. I pray, God, that you would anoint Pastor Rick. You would anoint Ernest. I pray that you would touch Nasha. I thank you for Kunli. I thank you for the leaders that are a part of the men's group. And God, I pray that the men would join in for that one hour to be encouraged to be godly men and that their hearts would be inspired, that their friendship with other men of faith would, would encourage their lives and their families. God, I pray for Saturday for the kids and for Sunday for the teens, these activities that happen before and after the service, that you would help every leader. I thank you for the new leaders. I thank you for the faithful leaders. God, we declare victory for each and every one. I see those of you that are declaring the victory over the things in your life right now. And we are agreeing with you that you will see the victories in those areas in your life. The enemy is defeated. In Jesus' name, his assignment on you has been canceled and removed. And so I want you to walk in that victory mindset this week. I want you to walk in the fact that I am letting the peace of Christ rule in my life this week. And the victory will happen for all of the ministries. And right now, Lord, I want to pray for the ministries of those who are not a part of ICF Rome. Many join us online on Thursday and whatever, but you have another ministry place in your city, in your country, wherever you are, if you're not with us online, like Church Alive, like our friends at North Church, Pastor Shannon was with us, like my friend Mary Mahan, who's in Costa Rica, wherever you are, we want to pray for your ministry. So will you do that right now? Will you pray for other ministries? So, Lord, right now, I Hallelujah. pray for other ministries, Bible people that teaching, lead, God people that lead, God people to Jesus, God, for Pentecostal, Holy Spirit, Holy Spirit God, led. God, God, I pray for leaders. God, I, pray I pray for pastors. For leaders, God, God I pray for churches. I pray for, I pray for life groups. I pray for Hallelujah. picnic groups and park Hallelujah. groups. God, we're... 
The enemy has tried to stop the body of yes. Christ from joining yes. together. May these other worship yes. communities, these Christ following communities, Hallelujah. may they be encouraged. Hallelujah. May they not Hallelujah. waver. May they not give up. If you're listening right now and you are a part of another ministry, I want you to hear the word of the Lord. Do not stop. Do not pause. You move forward. You are in God's timing and you are also in God's blessing. Hallelujah. If you are standing Hallelujah. on the word of God, Hallelujah. on the Bible from cover to cover. Hallelujah. So God has a word for you. Do not fret. Hallelujah. Do Hallelujah. not fear. Hallelujah. Remember, Hallelujah. he's not bound by time. Hallelujah. Not long time, Hallelujah. not short time, Hallelujah. not limited time, not access. God has all access. He is omnipresent. Amen. He is omniscient. Amen. He is omnipotent. He is omnipowerful. He has all all access amen and so whatever you have need of god has access to make it happen amen. on your behalf amen. as you pray according to jesus amen amen, amen. god amen. heard our prayers tonight amen. and i want to encourage just as i was watching some of the notes that were coming up lord spoke to my heart in regards to more online campuses you may be one of the brothers or sisters that have joined us tonight and say hey how do i get to be a part of something like this all you have to do is send us an email and our tech team will be happy to connect you to help either launch an online campus like we have in South Sudan. We started with wanting one campus in South Sudan. God gave us two campuses. You know, that's how God works. So we have the ability to reach around the world with our media ministry. And so maybe you've been watching us say, man, I'd love to start one for my home group or in my city, and I'd, I'd like to be encouraged to help that. Well, our people will help you, okay? You won't have to do this by yourself. Our people, just send us an email. The, the links will be there for you to send us a note and say, hey, how do I get started? What do I need to do to be a part of an online campus in my part of the world? And it gives me an idea that if you've been a faithful part of our ICF Rome online campus and you need to join in and take the connect to grow because that's what we ask people to do that are gonna serve or connect to lead, both of those. And once you have done that, then if you, maybe you can translate. You know, we have translation. Eric is our Spanish translator. He has gone back to Costa Rica for a period of time. But he's still but translating. But he's gonna to continue to translate in the online campus. So well, maybe you have a language that you can share. It could be French. Um, Benny is our amazing translation team coordinator, and I know she would rejoice, hallelujah, to add translations. At the end of every service on Sunday, they send to me the translation that's been recorded, and our media team puts that then on live stream, on iTunes, on SoundCloud, so people can listen to it again in their language. In their language. And so maybe the Lord is speaking to you that right now you can't get plugged in at your local church because they're not having church, but this is your church and you want to serve. Um, you, if I'm, if I say, okay, I want to interview you. I want to talk to you because that's how I do with people that are going to serve in ministry. I would love to do that. And then we can plug you into a ministry group where you can be in the zoom groups. You can be in the calls and really God can use you. Boriana is one that, um, she came to our Bible studies and sometimes she's not here because of work, but she is faithful to be a part. Mary Kieri is a part of our church, but regardless, she is always touching place. Another one is in in the UK right now coming back, but Taiwo has established the care ministry. So if you need care, and listen to me, because I know that sometimes as much as I want to be there for you, and many of you have my access to my email or you know how to get a hold of me, I know that not everybody feels like they can or or they will. I want you to. I'm here for you. You can message me. Pastor Rick will pray with you. We'll help you. But there are those who need that ongoing friendship and encouragement right now. Life is not easy. And we don't want anyone to feel like they have to do it alone. And so Taiwo has taken it on her heart and she to has establish a team this care ministry team. So you can reach out, you can talk with. We are even going to have chat rooms on the online campus, like a lobby, a foyer where you can talk. And we're working on some of that technology right now. Um, but I want you, if you're feeling God say to you, I need to make a decision to be involved in the body of Christ, the family of God. He wants you to do that. So I would recommend if you're part of our church that the first thing you do is sign up for one of our online classes, Connect to Grow or Connect to Lead on Sundays. 
and then you'll go and take the second one. They're like four and eight week classes, so it's not a long time. And then you meet with me and we talk about what God wants to do in and through your life. There's a place for everybody. Absolutely. And when we serve, God does something in our life. He spurs us on so that when we're tempted to be tired or to not do what God wants us to do, we're reminded that God has some really awesome things ahead for us. Amen. And some of you, like Pastor Wayne and Julie, I know you're saying bona notte, but um, they're it's not online. Over yet, Wayne. They're Stay online. online. Pastor Wayne and Julie, we love you. And they're helping us in many ways for the ministry, even now while they're back home in the U.S. You are a part of the ICF Rome family, and we love you, and we're praying for you. And wherever you are, Eunice is on here tonight, and she's in France, I believe. We're praying for you. We're trusting you. Brave, I got a message from Brave on my phone while we've been talking, who's gone back to bury her beloved husband, and she'll be coming back for a, a while. Um, but she's thankful that we've been praying for her. So we want you to know that you're not alone, that you're a part of the family of God. And I want you to join me tomorrow, Thursday Connect at noon. If you're a man, join Pastor Rick tomorrow night, 7 p.m. Rome time. You can find all of it on the icfrome.org website. And that is where you need to register. If you have not registered, for Sunday service on campus. You better hurry up and get in Please, there. Please, we want to see your smiling faces. We've got seats ready for you. We've got everything ready, but we want to see your face. And I've got one more prayer request coming in. Let me just hand. We are also going to pray for our worship team and the expanding of the worship team. So I know that there's a few people that have musical talents and desires and even without COVID, summer is a time when some people go away for a break or whatever. We always keep our circle open. So if there's an area of ministry, kids ministry, Joel's going to need you. We Oh, this is another thing I have to say really fast. We are working We're running out tomorrow. Of time. We're going to have kids camp online. Kids camp online. So we're going to do two or three, three days in the afternoon with kids in a Zoom or Google Meet. And then we're going to meet individually, but kind of together at a park on a Saturday. We're going to have an alternative kids camp. It won't be like we normally have at the when church. It? It's the end of July. I'll be putting out all the information after tomorrow. I meet with our fabulous kids leader, Joel. Oh, yeah. So there's a place for everyone to serve. So thank you for joining us tonight. You know, uh, prayers doesn't stop when the prayer service is over. I want to say that again. Prayers don't stop. The Bible says, pray without ceasing. That means don't stop praying. So just because you've taken this hour to pray with us mm -hmm. and, and learn more about the Lord, you don't stop praying. Mm -hmm. Spend more time talking to God. Mm -hmm. And I'll guarantee you that you will be not only encouraged, but you will be strengthened to continue to walk this walk and live this life. Our prayers are for you. And again, it, it, we're, a, we're a text message away. So don't <laughs> think that you cannot get reached. And we've got people literally now all over the world that can help us help you. So don't think, hey, I'm way out here and this. And I listen, we've got some people now and uh, that can really help us help you. So thank you for joining us tonight. I pray that you've been encouraged. Uh, you know, prayer time is always an important time for the believer. So don't stop praying. S don't stop praising. Mm -hmm. Don't stop praising. Sometimes you got to start praising before you start receiving. Mm -hmm. Prayer, mm -hmm. praise, and receive. And watch what God will do. So Lord, tonight, mm -hmm. thank you for this time. Mm -hmm. God, I thank you for what you're doing for my mom yes, in this cancer treatment. Yes. Oh, Lord. Thank you, God. Just go ahead and healing. heal her body. Take Jesus. pancreatic cancer yes, right out of her body of and throw it away. Thank God, I thank you for helping her, helping my sister be yes. with her right yes. now, Jesus. God, you, you, you really do take care of us. Thank you, Lord, for this family of faith that we have yes. all over the world. God, be with every one of their needs and every one of their situations. We declare victory take, over those things. Take and protect them, God, I yes. pray, in the Jesus. name of Jesus. Bless them, I pray. Give us a great week. We love you, Lord. Amen. 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 Thanks for joining us. Love you. Here's our air hug. <laughs> See you on Sunday. One Send way or the other. Message. See you tomorrow. Don't miss it.
men, Ladies, better, better be everybody, lining up. Everybody at lunch. Line at it up. Men, don't miss it. I'm telling ICF you. ICFRome.org, register. You don't want to miss it, man. ICFRome.org. And some of you, man, you haven't even registered yet. What are you doing? Thank you. Okay, register. Love there it is. It. It's we'll right there for you. you. Love you guys. Ciao, Good night. ciao. Buenas noches.